what is up youtube knife community back again today we are going to do an unboxing video i haven't done one of these in a while because there really hasn't been a whole lot to unbox around here uh so um this package comes from knives ship free uh i highly recommend them they're super fast shipping uh never had any trouble out of them uh you know, I live on the East Coast over here in Virginia, and they're from a little town called Ottawa, Tennessee, uh, which is real close to Chattanooga. So when they ship to me, uh, it, it's always like two days. So if you live out here on the East Coast uh, and you haven't never tried Knife Ship Free, which I know they're a large company, but uh, you should try them out if you haven't never because uh, they always get stuff to you pretty quick. I've ordered from them several times. Uh, so we'll get into this. Uh, I ordered this knife myself, and uh, today to unbox this, we will use this Mac Daddy right here. I just got this. Uh, some of you guys probably seen my Instagram post. This is the K2. This knife is very large and in charge. I had it for about 10 minutes, and I started sanding on it. Uh, I polished this section of the spine right here. It's all I've done to it so far. I'll probably do more work to it, but. Uh, it was semi-polished, but you could still see like some wavy lines in it. So I went ahead and finished polishing it and I took it apart and fixed the action. And it's smooth as silk for a big knife. Man, it's awesome. I love it. Very awesome knife. Uh, I'll give you a size comparison here in a minute after we tear into this. So we're going to cut into this. We'll see what we got. I'm going to bring it off and cut into it. If I don't, I'll shake the piss out of the camera. All right, so we got some bubble wrap, and then we got one of these. All right. This is uh, the first Chris Reeves knives that I've uh, picked up in a long time. The first one I bought was in uh, 2018. It was a birthday gift for myself. You get a sticker. I like that one. That's pretty nice. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the first one I ever bought was... Uh, a birthday gift to myself back in 2018 and uh here it is right here then this is just a little small shout out here this is uh my good buddy justin from ocd for edc uh as i said i had this knife for uh two years and it was not an easy two years on this knife i beat the snot out of this thing there's videos of me spine whacking it like that like real hard 20 or 30 times just to prove a point that uh the lock wouldn't fail you know so i did that and you know i tested it it's been hrc tested right there you see the two divots uh but yeah it's been through the ringer i don't know if you see there are scratches on the blade the chris reeves stonewash hides the scratch is pretty damn good uh <laughs> so yeah so i had this knife for two years carried it beat on it it had snail trails scuff marks concrete marks whole nine yards on it I sent it to Justin. He bead blasted the scales, re anodized the titanium bits, the thumb stud, as you can see there. He took it out and anodized it. And then uh, he anodized this little back spacer, the lanyard pin, as you can see, and then this uh, lanyard bead right here. He did it too. Uh, this lanyard is going to go, uh, that's not the color I'm going to stick with. I just tied it on there so I can show off his work real quick. But yeah, so looks awesome. It's hard to believe that this is the same knife. Uh, as I said, I mean, it was, it was scuffed up and marked up and everything. And I think it looks almost brand new. I mean, as close to brand new as you could get, you know? So, uh, I hadn't even thought about buying another Chris Reeves knife in a long time because this one was serving me correct. I mean, right, you know? Haven't never had any trouble out of it. Love the knife. So I really, you know, I always thought one was enough. But then I got this back from Justin and I saw how badass it looked and how easy and quick it was for him to turn this into a brand new knife. And I thought to myself, how many other knives are there in my collection that I can carry for two years, really carry, really use, beat the snot out of, and send it off for a spa treatment and it come back looking like a brand damn new knife i was so excited when this thing came back and uh it just i mean it's perfect it looks brand freaking new 
and uh we'll show you against this knife right here in just a second let me get this out of the box and quit running my mouth uh let's see it's not taped okay i'm sure there'll be somebody out there real quick somebody out there will say well you that's a brand new knife you're lying here's the birth card may 2018 i bought it in may because my birthday is cinco de mayo may 5th so uh i bought that just a couple weeks after my birthday with some money that i'd gotten for my birthday and they say 59 to 60 hrc this knife was 60 on the money so uh yeah they they do they give you what they advertise is what i'm saying and here's the information on this one uh here's the birth card right here it was built in it was built december 23rd 2019 you get uh, a little breakdown of how it's put together chris reeve sends you a sticker and your warranty paperwork and then inside here is just like a little uh timeline of the company and stuff so there's that then they send you some loctite uh grease and some tools to work on the knife yeah they actually want you to work on your knives believe it or not and then you get this nice uh microfiber cloth and then you get a badass knife oh my goodness yes what I really love about the Nkosi is it's double lugs. I've been wanting a double lug for my Sabenza for a long time. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Very smooth, as always. But there she is. Chris, Chris Reeves and Kosi with the Tanto grind. Love that grind. Man, it's smoking hot. Woo! Okay, so I'll show you the difference in the, the bead blasting. So there you are. Very similar. I mean, of course, these are darker because it's brand new. And they probably use a different media, which is fine. Uh, I love the way both of them look. This thing is awesome, guys. Absolutely love this thing. Man, it feels great, too. Yeah. Yes. Love it. Sorry, I'm... Okay, so a lot of guys wonder what this right here is. I'll tell you what that is. I uh, did some reading on that. And what that is, is, you know, they bring their jimping up. And it just makes this transition easier right here in production is what, I, is what I've read, you know. So, uh, I don't know. It just makes it easier for them to go into the crown spine with that little notch there. As far as I know, that's the only reason it's there. It doesn't serve a purpose or anything other than that. And as you see on the Nkosi, the clip is canted. Should carry a little better in theory, I guess. But anyway, I guess I've probably rambled on way too long. Oh, here's your size comparison on the K2, if you're just curious. And uh, the only other knife I have laying here is a Rat 2. So there's your little size comparison anyway it's all i got i just wanted to get this on film uh but yeah guys chris reeves to me it's well worth the money you got the good warranty you got awesome materials you got good fit and finish um and it's so easy like i said it's so easy to turn your old knife into a new knife again uh, you don't lose much money on them if you sell them on the secondary market yeah, I just don't see how you can go wrong. Anyways, guys, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next one.